Good evening to you tonight. We're learning about the first encounter police had with Pavel Gumiani and why soon thereafter his red Toyota Tacoma became a focal point in this case. On May 31st, 2019, Connecticut State Police Sergeant Michael Buton was at Fotis Dulos' Farmington home with a search warrant. With nobody home, officers tried to call Dulos. Mr. Dulos did not answer. Soon they saw a white Jeep Cherokee driving toward the house, a car they knew Dulos owned. It continued down the street. It didn't stop at the house. Um, the operator wouldn't really look at us. Sergeant Buton stopped the car. Inside, Pavel Gumieni, the project manager at Four Group, Dulos's company. He appeared to me to be uh, very nervous. I noticed that his breathing rate was elevated. He was breathing uh, at a higher rate than you would expect someone to be, just, you know, driving in a car. Um, I also observed uh, the carotid artery <clears throat> in his neck was pulsating, indicating that his heartbeat was beating pretty fast. Sergeant Buton eventually found out Gumieni was coming from a property Fotis owned in Avon. As for why he was sweating in an air-conditioned car. He had indicated to me that he was removing vehicle seats um, from a Porsche that belonged to Fotis so that he could put them into his own truck. That Porsche belonging to Dulos, the truck belonging to Gumieni, a 2001 red Toyota Tacoma that police believe Dulos used in the crime. Prosecutors showing what looked like the truck leaving one of Fotis's properties the morning Jennifer Farber Dulos went missing. Approximately 5.30 in the morning when I see the video, I'll know the exact time. Um, I observed what was consistent with a red pickup truck departing 80 Mountain Spring Road. Uh, it pulls out into the street and makes a left, heading toward what would be Route 4, uh, Farmington Avenue. The defense pointing out police couldn't see much else. You can't tell who's in it? No, sir. You can't tell how many people are in it, right? No. And in the, and you don't see anybody driving in to the 80 Mountain Spring Road driveway, do you? Uh, no, sir. No. Prosecutors continued on calling more members of law enforcement to the stand, showing screenshots of what police believe to be the Toyota Tacoma traveling north and southbound on the Merritt Parkway the day Jennifer disappeared. Right there. Retired trooper Greg LeBeau looked at days of footage focusing on that Friday, seeing what he thought was the truck headed southbound in New Canaan early that morning, then heading north out of the town a few hours later. So this vehicle also consistent with a uh, uh, red Toyota Tacoma and, uh, and also had the same characteristics as the vehicle uh, in the picture that I had. Now, Pavel Gumiani is expected to testify at some point in this trial. He is on the state's witness list. Now, we reached out to his attorney and they responded saying, quote, Pavel is under subpoena and he will abide by it, but he is very eager to put this behind him so he can get his focus back to working hard to provide for his family. Now, of course, court will pick back up tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We're live in Stanford. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.